here 19 years later I'm still doing what I love to do and I managed to make a living out of it so yeah I'm definitely living the dream. I think that's important to say, you know, I've touched on that a bit today with the people I've spoke to, is that you can really make a living, you know, we're not just people that live in our van still anymore, Kevin I know, he's just got his house and his family, you know, it's possible if you really are, have that burning desire to do something, there's so many people at this event in one way or another, professional kiteboarders, marketing managers for Cabrini, we spoke to them all today, young aspiring riders, can you turn that down please out there? <laughs> That's okay, it's probably an impressive boat. But just going back to that, that it's possible to make a living with this. And this is something that's obviously serious to you now that you've got a family, a young family, Kevin. And one of the things you're doing right now, which is really taking the kiteboarding world and the world by storm, which is great for shining the spotlight on kiteboarding, is your YouTube series, um, Kevlog. Talk to me a little bit about that. Yeah, the catalog is actually started as a sort of a joke, you know. I was uh, I was at home and um, it was like just after the season, and I was just uh, I had a bit of free time, so I went to YouTube and started following some people that vlogged. And I was like, hey, wait a minute, that doesn't get that hard. And I travel all around the world and I kite and I do all these cool things. And I was like, you know, why not capture it and and, and share it with uh, with the kiting community? And yeah, it started off pretty good and now yeah it grew out to to quite something cool and which i um really enjoy and you know the beauty of of youtube nowadays is that you don't need a whole camera crew traveling around the world with you you know i i, I did that as well where i made movies like chapter one in hidden lines and we had this whole crew traveling with us around the world which cost you know hundred a hundred thousand euros to, to get a whole crew around you and and, and travel around the world and and now, with YouTube and and, uh, and and the vlog, you can put your production cost quite low and produce a lot of cool content. And and you can and it gives me an opportunity to to show the joy I have for kiteboarding. And and the thing I love the most is that I can um, show my audience what what I see when I'm on the water. You know, I bring this little GoPro up with me when I when we jump up in Cape Town, like close to 30 meters and. And um, the feeling I get from that is just, it's crazy, it's hard to describe. I don't think you can describe it, but I can, but I can show it. With that, with that content, I can show the people what I feel and, and give them maybe, even if it's just a little bit of that feeling. Um, and, and that's the thing I love about it. I think that's why it's doing so well, Kevin, because it's authentic and I think people can see through uh, when you're trying to make stuff happen these days. When it's authentic and it comes from you, it, it really does mean something to people. So your YouTube channel is growing quite substantially. How many followers have you got now? Uh, I think I'm like 33,000. Still small compared to some of the other YouTube guys, but at least I think for, for the kiting thing, uh, it's going pretty well. Yeah, and I can tell you, it's quite some more people than that that are actually watching some of these videos online. And I think what I like about it what you're doing on YouTube, but what you seem to have found, because those of you that have tried this at home, I've tried vlogs, you know, I've made a good go of that, some other people have done it, it takes a real dedication, and, it, and what I imagine more than, than anything is it takes a balance, because it's difficult right now, I mean, is this your vlogging guy? Nope. Right, no. Right, no, no. <laughs> Everything you do that you think might be exciting, you, you probably imagine you want to be filming it. How do you, figure out that balance between right this is family time now this doesn't need to be on the vlog right this is an exciting time i want to share it how did you find that balance which seems to be so vital yeah it's not always easy um and, and sometimes yeah i'm struggling to find new creative things to show because at the end you know you go to the beach and you go kite but if you show that in every video you make it's you know it's it's not that fun to watch so i'm always trying to come up with new creative stories and and which is sometimes really easy but sometimes i'm i have like weeks on end where i'm like okay i need to make one but i have no clue what i what i should do and sometimes i just wake up and i'm like got a cool idea grab my camera start reco recording and then sometimes it ends up in something really cool and 
I just never plan anything. I just bring my camera, and whatever happens, I record and then put together. And I, you know, love doing it with uh, with a couple different people in there. And um, yeah, I just I, I just try to do, you know, capture what happens. That's basically it.